What's going on kids and it's Pizza Pop 43 here and welcome to the video. Now today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own audio visualizer for your YouTube channel. So the apps you're going to need are Kindmaster, MobyZen, and AudioVision. And uh, yeah, the rest will be explained in the video so without any rambling, let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is AudioVision. This is where all the visualizer stuff happens. This is the best, or one of the best options for visualization on this in Google Play Store. So, right, this is basically where you can what is it? Put, click any of your songs and have them play in this visualizer. As you see here, there's many of them. So, uh, yeah, as you see in the bottom of the screen, you can't see it. Well, I'm just about to record something for the examples. So, uh, I will be right back when I'm done recording and we'll get into the rest of the video. Alright guys, we're back and now we're on Kyan Masters. It's pretty easy to use, so now what you want to do is hit the plus button, go, go to empty project, and here you are. So now to get a picture in here, go to media browser, go all the way, well I'm going to go all the way to smart class. I would say go to the picture you want to, and then click it to insert it into the video. So this is what we're going to work with, and uh, now we're going to, now we're going to click our little thing that we cropped down to size. That's what we're gonna use. What I did, what I did there was just look at the time, so I can just stretch the video to that amount of time that I need, so it's not over, not under, it's just right. So yeah, that looks good enough. Just about, yeah. There you go. So now what we want to do is hit export, go to that, and then go to chroma key. Enable that. We gotta make sure the uh, green things are the way up in the middle. If you see there, not that way. Not that way. Bam! There you go. Right. So it's in there, and uh, the next part is like a uh, sinking. Well, actually, uh, well, that's what it's gonna look like now. You see, I'm I'm just playing the uh, audio just to get a good feel for it. Just like cut it off. There you go. Alright, so now we want to pick the corresponding music, which was, I believe, Glued. Glued Song Breathe. It's up here somewhere. There it is, right there. Okay, so now we have a long syncing process, which I'm going to skip forward because it was elongated. Kind of. So, uh,. Yeah, we'll be back when this thing's synced and we're all ready to go. Alright, so now that everything's synced up, we click on the audio wave thing, go to volume, turn that all the way down so we don't have any doubles. So now we go to image, and now this is the chance to place your own logo on the visualizer. So we just click my logo right there, and put it on the visualizer. We have to size it just right. Well, I don't do that really in this case, but I was, uh, but I, but I thought that this was good right there. It's like, thing, there's like a thing with position and stuff where you have to get in the right place or else it looks really stupid. Um, this didn't actually look that bad in this case because I still got the circle shape. So, uh, yeah. There it, that looks good right there. So, uh, no, we, it. Actually, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the uh, fades. Those are important for clean stuff. And now we put on the video fades, but we reduce them to one second each. Same thing with the audio fades. One second each. And there you go. Right, so, so then after this, well, we just extend our logo. To the end of the video. There you go. And uh, yeah, I just do a little bit more fine tuning it. So, so after all this is done, your new audio visualizer should look like this. <laughs> Alright 
right guys, that's gonna do it for this video here. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more from me, KP43. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.